Hi everyone, back again for the third session of finding out how to keep your kids cool and keep yourself cool while you're working with your family over the holidays. Today I've got Kathleen with me and we've got a really interesting um, piece of uh, equipment that you use in your classroom and it doesn't necessarily have to look like this in your house as you'll find out but Kathleen you've got this um, laminated piece of paper and some activity task cards here. How do you use this in your room? So, no worries, this is my first and then chart that I use in the classroom for some of my students. Um, it's a really good tool to outline what you want to have done first and then what that will lead into. So often with this, it may be, for example, that first you want them to do some reading and then after that they can go play or have a brain break. So it shows you very clearly what you want them to do first and then what happens after they've completed that first activity. Excellent. So what I'm seeing there is that you could do it as a way of kids seeing the sequence. So it's kids that yes. find it really challenging to understand what's happening next or kids that like to know that routine that we talked about on the first video. Yes. Um, if they know what's coming up next, they feel, okay, everything's in control, but then you can also use it as a reward system. Totally. So rather than saying first go and play on your iPad, then you can do some reading you're better off switching it the other way around where you might say, first, we're gonna do 15 minutes of reading, then you'll get your iPad time. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So it helps to develop independence and also some time management. And there's a lot of accountability because I can clearly see what happens first and then what happens next. Yep. And does it have to look like this in our houses? Not at all. It could be on a piece of paper. It could be verbally said. It's up to you, whatever works for you in your house. Excellent. So hopefully today you've discovered that just using the language of first you need to do this, then you can do this allows kids to understand routine. But also if you have it on your fridge or something like that, it helps the kids know what they need to do next too. So first and then really helps them understand cause and effect and how it's going to impact on their um, learning for the day. All right. Thanks. We'll see Thank you again you. soon. Bye.